Welcome, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy, and today we're back on Paragon once again. I'm playing as the Frankenstein Grok skin, which looks bloody amazing, or the theory of it was going to be bloody amazing, but in game, it kind of doesn't shine as much because you're pretty much looking at the back of the character constantly. You never see the front of it. So, yeah, it's a good skin, but it's nothing too bloody amazing compared to some other Shadow Eve skins that did come out of the actual collection. But that doesn't matter. I'm just having a swell ass time while playing this actual character with this skin. This is going to be an interesting video today. This is pretty much a Paragon and Chill type of video. That's what I'm going to call it. That's going to be an interesting time for the video. But it's pretty much me just talking, relaxing, talking to you mates, just chilled out. Nothing too crazy, nothing about something new coming out. Because I personally feel like this could be one enjoyable experience for both of us. So we can connect more and have more fun while doing some of these YouTube videos. And you guys enjoying watching these YouTube videos. So it's a win-win for both of us. But obviously there's not much Paragon news at this current moment. It's kind of quiet because the hero just got released. And pretty much all the big patch of news have been released as well. Until the next patch, version 34. When they have so many things coming up most likely. And also when the new hero comes out in two weeks time or one week when they start showing the reveal trailers and all that juicy information. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with all the greatest and latest Paragon gaming content, gaming content in general, and any content that does get released on this channel. And as always, expect it here first. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. And some of you mates might be looking at my build that I'm using in this current gameplay when I'm playing Grux. It was just made before the actual queue time, so please don't judge too much because I'm just testing out cards, having a swell time with this actual build and this actual character because he's one amazing character his kit his synergy with all his abilities are bloody amazing he's so underrated at some points within paragon but he scales so well he does so much in fights and he's a beast 1v1 type of hero and mates in my last video i did mention that i'll be doing a shadow eve skins video with some of you mates and have an enjoyable time doing some type of gameplay but i woke up pretty late and then the actual timing for you guys when you're awake it's pretty hard to actually play at the same time majority of the time but i'm gonna try to wake up earlier tomorrow or sometime stay awake even longer tonight and be able to make a video with you guys because some of you mates did add me quite a bit actually around like 20 something and that's pretty interesting because i always get friend requests every day but obviously when i sleep and wake up i got more overnight than obviously expected on average note but I'm hoping we can plan for that video and make that video actually happen because it's one interesting video it would be one spooky video guaranteed and also we did make a prediction yesterday talking about how a Murdoch T4 skin will be coming out sooner than later we've been waiting for this skin for such a long time it's been leaked it's been thrown out in blog posts constantly in every blog post when they talk about a T4 skin and then they showcase it within one of the devil live streams Arctic the actual community manager for Paragon was cosplaying as the T4 skin so I'm guessing it will be coming in version 34 especially after they drop two t1 skins or t2 skins for counters within version 33.2 mates you have heard a new movie that just got released not long ago around maybe close to a week and it's done by marvel and it's an amazing movie there's been a lot of rumors about how good this movie is everyone's talking about it it is doctor strange and i decided to go watch that today and that i did not regret at all it was one amazing experience guaranteed so mates expect a little bit of spoilers here and there about the movie because i can't hold myself back anymore because it's such a bloody amazing movie and it's done so well for some reason when I watched it then it was so subtle all the changes and everything that happened but once I look back at it it's just bloody amazing I don't know why I'm getting that feeling it's bloody crazy but what can you do so pretty much because this is the first Doctor Strange movie they showcase the origin of Doctor Strange around the first 30 minutes of the actual film you got Doctor Strange rich and all working in a hospital and literally being a doctor doing surgery on patients to make that moolah and obviously it all goes wrong with a simple car accident that he just didn't focus on the road and just all this crap happens and it's just unbelievable he just barely survives wakes up to this traumatic event when he's pretty much paralyzed with his arms and he's got all these rods in him and everything there's a lot of hospital terminology, doctor terminology thrown around within the first 30 minutes. I don't think many people understood that at first because it's kind of hard when they talk about uh, certain cells within the body and what to cut off for the certain procedure they are trying to do on a certain victim or patient. But that doesn't actually really matter. But let's move on to the next part. And that's pretty much him trying to regain his strength within his body and especially his hands because he lost his job as a doctor. And obviously he wants to go back to that normal life. So he tries his best to regain 
maintain that strength in any way possible, do multiple surgeries, do multiple experimentations with on his body and it does not work out until he travels to a certain place and meets the H01 and she does show Doctor Strange that there's more to see through that little keyhole that he's always been looking through and there's more to understand to the mystical side of the actual world and this is kind of interesting because he goes full and trippy mode for at least like five minutes to ten minutes it is crazy trippy and that is the only moment when it's full on trippy then the other parts are somewhat trippy but not as crazy as that little initial moment and then the crazy stuff keeps going it gets bloody amazing the experience the fights the ending scene it looks crazy good I'll be honest, I had a fun time watching that, that's guaranteed. And it's actually unbelievable how good the cast members and the actors are within this actual movie. You got Benedict from Sherlock Holmes, the TV show, which is obviously playing the main role within this actual movie, or the main actual actor, followed up by Rachel and also Mads from Hannibal Lecter, the TV show, which he played greatly in that as well. And in the movie, he does the exact same. He pulls off some great acting skills within the actual movie as the villain or the protagonist within this actual movie. I enjoyed the experience. These cast members did really well and make it a pretty much a well done movie because each personality of each character did shine really well out of each actor, if that makes any sense. And also the music and the soundtracks with every fight and experience in the actual movie was spot on, done perfectly. I love the music, I love the soundtrack. I might download that for myself, you know, just to make everything sound more epic in the background. <laughs> but let's be honest, Benedict does play well with the actual role of Doctor Strange. He was like he was born to be Doctor Strange. It looks so spot on, it was unbelievable, especially when he got his cape and obviously the amulet with that he does wear on his chest or around his neck that goes down to his chest and has the infinity stone within that actual amulet it looked bloody amazing and especially how they interact within the world was amazing to see as well because not many people know about doctor strange and showcasing to the best of their ability with these actual items and who he actually is within their origins and pretty much showcasing what he becomes and what he needs to do to save the world it's pretty interesting and i expect more doctor strange movies to come in the future Obviously, the last fight is well done. It's interesting. A little bit trippy here and there, but it does make sense. And obviously, there was two ending credits. There was one mid-credit and there was one full, full ending credit. And those are really interesting because it connects to Thor, Ragnarok, and also the next Doctor Strange movie, most likely. And for some reason, I found it kind of annoying that people were leaving straight after the movie ended and not bothered watching the mid-credit scene or the ending credit scene. And if they did stay back, they only watched the mid-credit scene and then leave after that. It was kind of really awkward. But who cares, at least we got to experience that and understand what is going on for the next Marvel movies to come within 2017. And I don't think I spoiled that movie too much. So guys, if you still want to watch it, make sure you do because it is a bloody amazing movie done by Marvel. And I personally think it's one of the best movies they've ever created. So yeah, I think that's all I want to talk about within this Paragon and Chill episode or series or upload or video. What do you want to call it? That is actually happening. We're doing it. We might do it occasionally here and there just because it's fun to do. More relaxed, more chilled out. And it pretty much feels like I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys. But it's a little one-sided here because I'm saying everything. But guys, if you have any thoughts about the movie, about Paragon, or anything like that I did discuss within this episode or video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below so I can have an interesting read and understand what your thoughts about this actual video is and everything that we did explain within this video. Leave your comment in the comment section down below. And also, I'm still a little sick here in there. I can't get the sickness away. It's kind of bloody annoying, but what can you do? We shall conquer it very soon. But mates, if you enjoy this video, show your support, smash that blind like button. Let's try and get 100 likes on this video. It might be a big ask, but I expect you mates to smash that goal as always. And mates, if you want to see more Paragon gaming content and gaming content in general on my channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit that subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, times go, but don't you worry. We're back very soon. Hang to us, boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Now I'm just secretly awaiting Paragon and the Epic Games team to create a character like Doctor Strange within the Paragon universe that can verse Gideon, because that would be one interesting matchup. <laughs> and then it feels right. Oh.